January Johnston Osborne, Talent Acquisition Executive. November 8, 2014. Are you ready to be a leader? Making the transition from manager to leader. You know the age old debate. Are leaders born or made? I don't think that great leaders are simply born. Some people are indeed natural born leaders, but leadership goes far beyond genes and family. Natural born leaders are not necessarily natural born good leaders. Great leaders are made over time from a process of inward reflection and inherent values in which they possess. They also have a level of thought that is critical and inspirational. Managing people doesn't necessarily make you a leader you're hired into the managerial role because of the specific tactile day-to-day -day knowledge you possess you generally know how to manage the functions. Leadership is different. It's a transformational process. A process in which one moves from the tactician to the strategist. What gets you to the manager role doesn't necessarily get you into leadership. Sadly, not all managers will be able to make the transition. Companies need both managers and leaders. You can still be a good manager but not necessarily possess the characteristics of a great leader. Sometimes the title leader is thrown around a bit too freely. Leaders require a diverse set of skills compared to managers including a strong sense of personal style and knowing how that impacts upon others. Are you ready to take your leadership game to a higher level? Ponder these thoughts for a moment to see if it describes you. You're not satisfied with the status quo. You want to make a difference. You have a vision beyond your department. Your dreams are magnified. You don't play the blame game. You take responsibility. You admit your mistakes and have solutions on how to correct issues. You know the value of relationships and you never outsource them. You are comfortable mirroring the behavior you want to see in others. You are comfortable with people monitoring your integrity. You ask the powerful and thought-provoking questions. You have a critical thought process, you ask the hard questions. You know you may not always make a popular decision and you are okay with that. Fear doesn't hold you back. You'll take one for the team. You see a picture that others may not be able to see. You are trustworthy and genuine. You are ready to receive criticism. You have others who will follow you. You inspire those around you. If your answer is, yes. That's me that's great. Now you have to make sure others know that you are ready to step up to the plate. Remember, you own your career so you must be prepared to noticeably demonstrate your readiness to lead at a higher level. It's not only your boss who must understand the value you bring to the organization but your team and beyond should support you as you advance in your career. When you show others beyond your department that you're ready to lead, you meaningfully increase the prospect of securing a new position. Do others think you're ready to step into a bigger leadership role? Do you have advocates and champions? You need champions throughout the organization. If your name is not known outside of your department, it's going to be tougher for you. Who sings your praises? Have you specifically told someone other than your boss that you are interested in advancing your career? Are you seen as strategic? This one is huge. One sign of leadership is a strategic mindset. Ways to identify how others see your strategic ability. Do other leaders seek out your opinions in meetings? Are you invited to sit in on meetings not just for your technical expertise, but also for your critical thinking abilities? Are you able to lead group discussion by keeping them on track with the overall strategic objective? Do colleagues value your ability to see the big picture? How well connected are you? The ability to influence across organizational boundaries set you apart from your other colleagues. It also increases the likelihood that your name will be mentioned for great assignments. You are well networked if People seek you out to make introductions to others in the organization. You are familiar with key business initiatives that aren't directly related to your functional expertise. If these things are not true, seek out advocates and networks to help you create connections throughout your organization. Are you a problem solver or agenda setter? Yes, you need to know how to fix problems but when you are an effective leader, 
you have to define what issues and strategies the organization should be tackling. Do you think with a purpose in mind? The leader asks what and why. Managers ask how and when. You must have an ability to shift through analysis, recognize patterns, and construct mental models. In regular thinking, a person is more likely to accept facts without investigating and analyzing the issue. Critical thinking is the opposite. It requires time, involves asking probing questions, and means that several perspectives are considered and, perhaps most crucial, a critical thinker is open-minded and cognizant of alternatives. They are well informed and never jump to early conclusions. This adds a sense of accountability that enables them to execute for results now while satisfying their obligations to positively impact the future. Companies are always looking for their next great leader. Employees want great leaders. If you are ready to be a leader, start seeing yourself as a leader and then behaving in ways that make others see you as a leader, too. Visual Media for Internet Nation